Hello folks, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see how you can use AWS Systems Manager to run Ansible playbooks on your EC2 instances. You can do this on a large number of instances without having an Ansible control tower installed in your environment. And you can also control the error rates. You can also control how many instances that needs to be patched at any single time or updated. And we are going to use a couple of services that is AWS Systems Manager inside that you will have run commands and also have a state manager. By using state manager, you will be able to ensure a target state for an instance. For example, you want to run HTTPD or Apache on a particular version. What we will do is we will have a playbook and say this playbook has to be run on certain number of instances at certain time and maintained at a certain level. So let us go ahead and see how we can do this. There are a couple of prerequisites before we go ahead and start this. One is having an IAM role that will make our EC2 instances to be able to be managed from the SSM or service offered by Amazon. If you already know how to configure an IAM role and how to get it into a managed state, go ahead and start at step number three. For people who don't know how to create and manage instance, I'm going to take a Red Hat instance and then assign a role and then we will see how to install Ansible and then go ahead with the other steps. To make it easier, I have already created the role and the role is having the manage permission as EC2 role for SSM. If you don't know, go ahead and watch my previous video on how to do that. If you did that, let us continue on the point where we can configure an existing Red Hat instance and we'll put it under the managed state. So you can see here the role has been already attached and for convenience, I have also opened port 22 rule and also port 80 so that we can run an HTTP server and see whether it's accessible. At this moment, it is not accessible. You can see here the site is not available. Let us go ahead and run some playbooks which will install HTTP server and put a dummy page and we can see it later. I'm on the instance now. The first step is to go ahead and install the SSM agent so that this instance will be managed by SSM service and the commands for installing the SSM agent is there in the GitHub article. Go there and follow it. And once it's finished installation, we can check the status and you can see there it is running. Let us go ahead and check it in the SSM service now. Under the SSM service, on the left hand side, you will find manage instances. Go ahead and click on that and you will be able to find the instance where you installed the agent just now. We can confirm the agent ID that is starting with 328 and if we go ahead and see here, it is the same instance where we installed the agent and started the agent and it starts reporting back to our service. So the next step is going ahead and making sure we have Ansible installed and once again, the command for that is also there in the GitHub. We can use the same. So let us go ahead and install Ansible. Now that Ansible installation is complete, we have prepared our target instances. If you are going to do this in a lot of instances, then I would recommend you to go ahead and make an AMI where Ansible is installed and the SSM agent is also installed and start your workloads with that AMI so that you can just go ahead and run your playbook on your target instances. So let us go back to our SSM console and where we will create our state manager which will install the HTTPD agents and other agents on your target instances. In your SSM service, you will find something called a state manager. Let us go ahead and create an association. Under the AWS systems manager, you will find state manager here. Go to state manager, click on create association and we are going to name it install HTTP on Red Hat. For documents, we are going to use an Amazon provided document. So we are going to use this document for running our playbooks. So we are going to use the YAML playbook which is provided in the GitHub article. You can go ahead and use this one or if you have another one, you can go ahead and use that as well. Make sure just that is properly formatted and ready to use. Go ahead and directly paste it as plain text or if you want to put it into an S3 bucket and give the reference URL here, that is fine. And I don't want to do a dry run, so I'm just going to keep it as false. And in this case, I'm going to use the tags so that you can target multiple instances. And I have tagged my instance for Red Hat. So I'm going to use that. If you have a different tag, go ahead and put that. Or if you want to do it manually, fine. If you have few instances, if you have multiple instances, go ahead and use the tagging option. If you want to run it on a particular schedule on a Friday or on the weekend, then go ahead and choose the schedule. Since this is going to be a demo, I'm going to run it only once. I'm just going to choose the run once schedule. And I want the compliance severity to be high and I want to be notified when there is a failure. So how do I do that? First is concurrency. If I have 100 instances, I am going to choose. I want to update only 10 instances at a time. Then I will say 10 targets here. If I want to have all at a time, then I will say 100 percentage at the same time so that all of them get updated at the same time. And when do I stop my updates if there is a problem? So I, if I say that I want to stop at one error, 
or, the, or any instance going wrong I want to stop it immediately then I just go ahead and choose one there and if you want to know what are all happening or what is the updates that is in each of those instance go ahead and redirect all the output into an S3 bucket. I'm going to use this S3 bucket as my destination go ahead and click on create association and in the background it is going to start the execution and once the execution is updated we will see the status here. Go into the association ID and you can see here it is already completed so if you want to go ahead and see the output let us go here and then refresh our screen we should be having some outputs here and you can see the output for that particular instance and I'm going to download this file now. Installed Ansible and then it has installed all the commands so if I go ahead and refresh this page I should be getting the HTML page that we wanted when we put it into the YAML file. So let me go ahead and refresh this page and you can see here this is the same thing that is in the YAML playbook and if I go here in the YAML playbook you can see here welcome to Ansible run from SS. AWS SSM and there is a typo there and you can see the same typo here as well. So uh, we wanted to show how to run Ansible playbooks on multiple instances and you can go ahead and do that in your own account. If you have any problems in running Ansible playbooks from SSM, go ahead and put them in the comment section. I'll be happy to help them with you. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.